and I've actually never heard of this device. Hey vapers and vapies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Cone Vape Kit by Kanger Tech. <laughs> So today we are looking at the Cone Starter Kit by Kanger Tech. This is just a little box mod as far as I've seen. So let's open it up and check it out. I Like I said, I'd never heard of this before. It comes in this really small box. Oh, don't want to lose anything. Looks like we have a user's manual, a little quality control card. Oh my god, it's so small. I have the white one. It comes in gray or black as well. So we have the little device here. Wow, it's a lot smaller than I thought. It comes with the uh, Pang U or Pang U. I don't know how that's actually pronounced, but it comes with that tank. Also comes with a little micro USB charge oops, charge cord that I dropped, an extra glass piece, and some O-rings. So here it is. This is weird. It has like this little ledge to fit the 22 millimeter tank. Here is the fire button, the charge port. Here's the bottom. It has a five LED light indicator for the battery level. This does have a spring-loaded 510 pin, so it'll make good contact with any 510 atomizer. Like I said, it has this little lip that fits the 22 millimeter tank diameter. It has a built-in rechargeable 3000 milliamp hour battery in this little guy, it's so little. The minimum atomizer resistance is 0.1, so the Pangu or Pangu, however you pronounce this, is a stainless steel construction tank with glass that holds 3.5 mils of e-liquid, dual airflow slots on either side. This device does have short circuit protection. This does have a cartomizer style build with the Pangu coils. They are PGOCC atomizer heads. That's a mouthful. So it's top fill, you just take off the top. This is the weirdest thing ever, wow. It does have a juice flow control right here. You just spin this part when the cap is off. It has a 0.5 SUS 316L wire coil in, and I'm gonna fill it up with some Crow e-liquid by White Crow. This little box mod is 63 millimeters by 44 millimeters by 23 millimeters. Five clicks turns it on, and these five lights light up according to your battery level. I've got four lit up right now. You can replace the coil when it's filled through the bottom or when it's empty through the top. Interesting. It's producing good vapor. The flavor though, I do have the juice flow hole open at max as well. But the flavor is just a little off. Maybe I didn't let it sit for long enough and soak up, but that's like weird flavor. And that's just the this Pangu tank or whatever. The little box mod is super cute, but I think I want to put a different atomizer on here. I am going to give it another shot though because this is a brand new atomizer. I'm just, hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's kind of harshing out the flavor. All right, so I grabbed a different atomizer. Let's try it out. And that makes all the difference in the world. See, the video is for the cone, not specifically for that atomizer. I don't know, maybe if you've had that Pangu or Panju tank. Let me know down in the comments what you think because I wasn't really impressed with the flavor. The cloud production was good, but not the flavor. Not something I could vape all day. But this atomizer with the crow e-liquid, yes, excuse me, that was my phone. So much yes. And it's cute. It's a cute little box mod. Self-adjusting too, so you don't have to worry about wattage and stuff. It just sets it for you. All right, so I like the size and the fact that it's simple and it doesn't have all the adjustments that some people get confused with. I didn't, wasn't really impressed with the tank. I will leave a link below to where you can check this out for yourself if you're interested. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. Follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vape. 
shapes and thank you so much for watching.